Next, we are going to be doing table topics. And so I will hand this over to our esteemed table topics master, Hamang. Welcome, Hamang. Thank you. Let me share my screen. Yes. You guys see my screen? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. So good afternoon, everybody. Just imagine that you are a salesperson today, with top-notch selling skills. So there are six items you would like to sell today, okay? So do your best to sell the items as they are, there is no right or wrong answer. And of course, use your imagination, use your creativity, and use your sense of humor to sell those items. As some of them are very little unique and will make you think. I'm also encouraging you to use the word of the day. If you can, it will be awesome. And remember, as I mentioned earlier, there is no right or wrong to so be brave and do your best. So now let's start selling things. Who wants to go first? Feel free to unmute and yell it out. Yeah, Don't, not everybody jump at once, okay, please? Nobody, I'm gonna start picking them. Who is not easily talk? I can give it a try. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Which one you wanna do, Stephanie? I'll choose three. <laughs> so think like you're a salesperson. <laughs> Oh, this is such an interesting topic. Okay, so <laughs> I'm very excited to share with you guys something very unique today that I know you are going to love and want to bring into your life. This is, this is a really, really special thing. So <laughs> if, have you ever gone to someone's house and had them and have them introduce you to their very unique pet, maybe a snake or a lizard or a really beautiful tropical fish or a rare breed of dog. Well, I have got the pet for you that is going to absolutely shock and amaze and impress all of your friends and will be forever a talking point anytime you have guests at your house. So this giraffe is an excellent way to impress your friends and also have a really excellent way to get to your top floor. <laughs> That's what I've got. I'm in the red. Back to you, table topics, man. <laughs> Great. That was a nice answer. It's not easy, but that's great. You just made us laugh. Yeah. When you sell the giraffe, I bet you everyone wants to buy it now. <laughs> so, all right. So go back to the main page. Who wants to be next now? Who wants to go next? Again, all questions are really funny. You will love it. I can go. All right. So which number? Mm, I'll choose the first one. Oh, without doors and windows. Mm. I don't know why my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> <laughs> now I know that I have stage fear too. <laughs> yeah, just start talking. You will talk to your Yeah, everyone needs a house and. Though it doesn't have doors or windows, you still have shelter. It will keep you safe from rain, from many dangerous wild animals. And you can stay safe, which is very necessary right now in this pandemic. But yeah, the only thing is you can't get out because there are no doors. And I don't know how you will breathe if there are no doors or windows. Mm. 
but I see a chimney. Maybe from there you can get some air. Very well. And let's all happily cook your food, enjoy your book, and live peacefully. Thanks. There comes green. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. You want to use chimney, right? Out of the house, and no one can break your windows. And definitely, insurance will be very, very low. I bet you. I think people want to buy this house now because of those reasons. Great for privacy and really easy to paint versus a house Very with good, windows. Yes, great privacy too. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Thank you. Thank you. So, who wants to go next? Sounds like Steve. All right. All right. I'll go. Pick a topic, please. Uh, five. Ooh. A mirror without glass. <clears throat> ah, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters <clears throat> and Topics Master. Today, I'm going to be selling you a revolutionary, revolutionary mirror. <clears throat> and you're probably wondering, how can this be a mirror? It doesn't have glass. Well, if you recall from your childhood stories, I believe it was um, Beauty. Uh, one of the, I think it could have been Snow White. Yeah, Snow White, the young lady uh, was actually the fairest in the land. And the way the wicked queen knew about that is she had a magic mirror. And whenever she would say these uh, particular <clears throat> words to the mirror, it would it would come up and show her the future. So if you watch that movie and say these magic words, it'll actually show you a glimpse into anywhere in the world you want to see. And if you don't believe it, try it out. Uh, guaranteed it'll work or you'll get your money back. And today we have a 50% off special. If you buy two, you get half off the second mirror. So you could buy one for your uh, evil stepsister or anyone else that you would like to utilize this revolutionary device. Thank you. Good job. Nice. Nice <laughs> Thank you. I stumbled on the uh, name of the story, but I eventually remembered it. <laughs> All right, we still have three questions left. If I have I'll go next. I'll go okay. next. You know, I can't say no to table topics. Um, I'll do number four. I ran into this problem the other day and I needed to get someplace, but every way that I wanted to get there it was, it didn't work. I needed, it was too noisy. You know, it burned a lot of fuel. Um, you know, I just, I was too low to the ground, bumping all over everything. And then I found this great thing and you just, you need to try it. It is this airplane without engines. It's great. You just, you just haul it up your, to your local mountain and jump inside and there's these little, there's a little door at the bottom where you can put your feet through like Fred Flintstone and just run and then you take off and it'll take you wherever it feels like it wants to go. It's great. You don't have any noise. You don't, you know, your view isn't blocked by any trees, no running into any cars. You don't have any bumps except for if you run into a storm. But, you know, whatever. That's just the, the excitement in life that you need to that you need to experience sometimes. I can tell you this airplane without engines is my new best friend for when I want to travel someplace and I don't know where I want to go. 
I can tell you if, if you, if you're interested, I got this great shop down the street. I, you know, I, here's my business card. I, I might happen to work there, but it's this great shop down the street where you can, you can take a look and try it out yourself. Just make sure you bring your own rope so you can haul the thing up to the side of the mountain. Thank you, Table Topics Master. Very nice. See, there are so many reasons you should buy this plane. And I bet you, Kate, they're going to run out of this plane pretty soon after this. <laughs> hey, it fits in with a Green New Deal, right? Right. You, you could buy it now and sell, double, you know, sell it in a year or two and make yeah. twice as much off your investment. <laughs> in your control, you're like an owner of the plane. So there are so many reasons to buy this. I don't see any reason not to buy. <laughs> right. Perfect. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Samang. This was a great set of uh, topics for us to stretch Definitely. ourselves out there and, and really kind of get our thinking going in a different way. <laughs>